Hello guys, greetings from Ye Star Technical Support Team. This is a demo video for YSC Cross. Let's dig in. When we face a problem like a call failed or no audio in SIP, usually we need to get a PCAP DOM file and check the packet. In order to do this, we must be able to support the SIP flow and RTP streams of the failed call so we can do analyze on it. In this course, we will explain how we exactly use Wireshark to find them. And we have three major topics for today. First, we will introduce what is filter and how to use it. Second, we will describe how to list out a SIP call. At last, we will explain how to find the RTP stream. Let's start with filter expressions and the usage of it. PCAP dump file contains all the protocols travel the network card. While Shark has expressions to filter the packet so that it can display the particular messages for the particular protocol, which helps us narrow down the searching list and find the expressions that we need to check. Here are some common streams list below. If you want to filter zip packets, you can just type in zip in the dialog box at the top of the page and press enter. If you want to filter by IP address, you can type in IP.addr double equal with an IP address. Type in IP.src double equal with an IP address and press enter to filter the source IP. Type in IP.dst double equal with an IP address and press enter to filter the destination IP. If you want to filter by part, Type in tcp.pod double equal with the pod number and press enter. Type in tcp.src.pod double equal to 8088 and press enter. Then only the source pod 8088 of the TCP protocol is displayed. Then let's go over how to list out a zip call. First of all, we need to learn a couple of ways to support the call that we need. Way one, Use call flow diagram to list SIP calls. Find telephony, then click VoIP calls, then we can see the SIP call list. We can see the information below, the start time and stop time of each call, initial speaker, caller ID and callee ID in the from and to URI. Select the calls you want to check, then we can see the invalid option flow sequence become available. Click flow sequence button, we can see the graph of this call with some details. SIP signaling flow between different user agent, direction, source, and destination part of RTP stream, codec of the RTP stream. Way two, use specific parameters to list SIP calls. In SIP protocol, we can use call ID from tag to tag to identify a call. Usually, SIP entity will generate the random call ID stream for each call. So, we can mark one SIP call with the call ID parameter by right click it and choose Apply as a filter. And then you can see the following figure about the SIP call filtered by call ID. We can also filter with some special parameters in the packet through the option Prepare as a filter. Select the parameters you want and right click. Find prepare as a filter, then click it. Press enter to apply the filter you choose. Here comes the result. Enable display raw test for SIP message so that we don't need to expand every SIP header or SDP parameters. After you enable this option, you can see there are two parts in the SIP invite request, SIP headers and SDP. Just list some important SIP headers here from means caller URI, to means destination of the call, contact means the address for the subsequent request. Also, some important parameters in SDP, media line, codec, p time, media direction. Then let's explain how to find the RTP stream. We have two methods. One is to use SIP call flow diagram. In this diagram, we can decide which sessions of the RTP stream we want to check. Then we click Play Streams to open the RTP player. Another one is to go to Telephony. Then we choose RTP, click RTP Streams. We can see all the RTP streams display 
and some information of these RTP streams like source port and destination port, SSRC, payload, max delta, loss percentage of the package, and filter. But how could we know which streams is the one we want to check? We can check the media line of the STP message in invite or 200 OK SIP messages. In the media line, we can see a port number right next to audio. That's the one you need to take down. After collecting the parts, now we can find one single RTP streams in the RTP streams list and play it. Then click the play stream button, and we can see the RTP player. Okay, this is how we find RTP stream. Now that we have the RTP streams that we are looking for, we need to go on to analyze what caused our voice issue. At the ESDAR Tech Support team, we have a checklist, so there is no loose end. Here I show you guys this list. If you need more information on how to do the analysis, or if you need more real examples to help you learn, we have everything that you can possibly need in our brand new YSC course. You can join this lesson and become an expert. And that's all for this demo video. Want to unlock more useful skills for troubleshooting? Please sign up for our new YSC course right now. Thank <music> you.